ethnic cleansing and forceful expulsion of Tigrayans has been one of the characters of the war on Tigray, as the Allied forces had committed ethnic cleansing in areas such as western Tigray. Recently, another round of ethnic expulsion of Tigrayans has been witnessed in southern Tigray. IDPs from Koram, currently sheltered in Maijo, say they were forced to leave their homes as a result of atrocities being committed on Tigrayans in that area. It doesn't matter whether you are young, old, pregnant, or child. They were just slaughtering and killing indiscriminately. They also raped women. We were being attacked by heavy artillery when we were there. They were saying Tigrans should leave and made us suffer. We have witnessed terrible atrocities. They were shelling the area using heavy artilleries and were committing atrocities on civilians, including rape. They were also killing the youth. We have suffered a lot there. They were committing heinous atrocities. They brutalized and killed many youth. The IDPs also say that their properties were being looted by Fano, Amhara militia and Ethiopian forces on top of the atrocities committed on them and many other civilians in southern Tigray. They were not only attacking people, but they were also looting properties we have worked for our entire lives. This shows that they want the land, but not the people. Our properties have been looted by the Fano, Amhara militia and Ethiopian forces. The people you see here have left their cozy homes with none of the properties they owned. We came to Macho with nothing on our hands. The IDPs added that even though they have escaped the atrocities in their hometown, the blockade of basic services has made it difficult for them to live in the shelter. There are so many problems here because we have children to take care of. We have pregnant and lactating mothers. There is nothing here. We have nothing to eat. If, for instance, we ate roasted grain in the morning, we would have nothing to eat later the day. We sleep on an empty stomach. There are more than 3,000 people that included the youth, elderly, pregnant, and lactating mothers. As you can see, they are only eating roasted grain and a piece of bread. They have nowhere to sleep on. They just sleep somewhere in the corner.